Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be understanding the duration type in detail. So Primavera offers us four types of duration types, which is nothing but fixed duration and unit, then fixed duration and units per time, then fixed units and fixed units per time. Okay. So I have made four activities with each type of durations, and then we will add the resources to these activities and we will understand that how the type of duration affects the assignment of resources as well as your duration units and units per time. So first of all, the, uh, all the activities have duration of four days. Okay. Activity A1 is fixed duration and units, which means units and duration will remain fixed for this particular activity. Just understand the meaning. First of all, we'll see the example by assigning the resources. Fixed duration means the total duration, which is four days. The activity will remain of four days irrespective of your resources. How many resources you assign to this particular activity, the duration will not change at all. And fixed units means the total number of units. That means, for example, if you assign some labor to this particular activity, the total budgeted number of units will remain same. Okay. For example, if I uh, add one mason to this particular activity, then what will happen that suppose that mason is doing 10 hours per day of work, then the budgeted units will be taken as 10 multiplied by four. That means 40 units. Now, suppose if you add one more mason to this particular activity, then the budgeted units will not change from 40 to 80. That means for your project, for this particular activity, the time as well as your schedule is fully constrained. Number of units is fixed and your duration is also fixed. Okay. Similarly, for second activity, your duration will be fixed and your units per time. That means hours per day will be fixed for the resources. Then for third activity, your units will remain fixed, but your duration and your units per time will change. It will vary. Then last but not the least is fixed units per time in which your hours per day will remain same for the resources. You assign the any number of resources. It will change the duration or the units. Okay. So now we will see with the help of example. Okay. See. For very first case, your original duration is four. Now I am adding one resource. Now see, we will assign one particular resource of labor to this particular activity. Let us say we will assign one mason to this activity. Okay. So now you see one mason whose budgeted units per time is 10 per day. And you see budgeted labor units become 40 because the activity is of four days and your duration that means hours per day is 10. So even if I assign one more labor also to this particular mason, it will not change the units and duration. Okay. So your budgeted labor units has become 40. So let us try to assign one more mason to this particular activity. So let us say instead of mason, we are assigning the carpenter or let us say helper we are assigning. Okay. So now you see the difference that I assigned one more helper one more uh, labor to this particular activity, but the duration and the budgeted labor units is same. That means 40 units of work will only happen. 40 hours of work is required for this particular activity. Okay. And duration will be four days, but what it does is it reduces the hours per day. Units per time has changed because of the resources. And now it has divided the hours between the two laborers as five per day and five per day. If I add one more resource, let us say carpenter, then it will further make it to three per day. 3.3 it is basically so uh, rounding off it has done three per day so it has not affected your duration as well as your units so it means this particular activity is very much time constrained that means you will only assign the duration type as fixed duration and units to only those activities for which you cannot change the duration that means even if you dump so many resources the duration should not change that means it cannot become four to two or four to six. That means your activity is not at all dependent on your resource. Okay. And your schedule is also very constrained and your resources. You see, 
your units are also very much constrained that means the activity should be completed in the fixed schedule and your fixed man hours okay understood now moving on to second activity here the duration and units per time will remain fixed i'll add one resource mason you see the labor units is 40 budgeted units is 40 if i add one more resource see 10 hours per day duration is 40 if i add one more resource which is nothing but your let us say helper so now you see the change here that after adding one more resource, it has not changed the hours per day for these resources. That means your resource will work on the fixed productivity. They cannot work less. They will be available for 10 hours per day completely. And the duration is also not changed. But what changed is your units. That means now 80 hours will go into this particular activity whereas in the first activity only 40 hours went but it got distributed among the resources but here the activity will get completed in four days only but your labor work will increase unnecessarily that means your labor units will increase okay now moving on to third type of activity suppose if i add resource for this this is fixed units so you see it has taken 40. Now if I add one more resource, a question will come to your mind whether it will do 5 per day to 2 resources or it will change the duration because duration is also not fixed here. Okay, So let us see what is what it does. Usually the algorithm of Primavera is that it changes the duration first. It will not touch units per time. It will touch original duration first. I will add one more resource of helper and you see that it has not changed units per time units per time is still the same but duration has reduced to two that means within two days they can achieve 40 units because in one day they are doing 10 plus 10 20 in two days they will do 20 plus 20 which will be 40 so it has changed the duration so this type of duration type is highly not at all recommended because with the resources this uh, type of activity will alter or hamper its duration. So you never want durations to get hampered because of addition of resources. Suppose if you add some extra resource, it should not happen that your uh, duration should change. Okay. So now moving on to last type of duration, which is fixed uh, uh, units per time. I'll change it to fixed units per time. So if I add one resource here, mission you see that it has taken 40 labor units, 10 per day. Duration is also 4. Units per time is fixed. So now if I add one more resource, what will happen? Whether it will change the units or it will alter the duration. Let us see. So I am adding one helper here. And you see it has changed the duration again here. It has not at all touched the units per time because units per time is fixed and units also it has not altered. What it has done is it has altered the original duration for this particular activity. In one day you will get 20 units. So in two days you should get 40 units. So this is how these four types of duration function in Primavera. Now suppose if I go to fixed units and I change the duration of this particular activity or suppose if I change the budgeted units per time, then what will happen? Suppose if I change it to 20, so what it should do? Should it change the units? No, because units cannot change. It will remain 40 only. If I make it 20, whether it will do it uh, 2 to 3 or 1 or 4, something like that. See, I'll show you. I'm making it 20, but it has not changed the duration, made the duration two only. It has not changed the duration. Why? Because you see that in first day you will do 30 hours of work. Okay. But it requires 40 hours of work as the input. So in first day you will be able to complete 30, but still 10 hours of work will be pending, which will be completed in your second day. That is why your original duration remains as two only. Okay. Now, if I change this particular value also to 20, then it will change the duration to one. You see, now see the duration has become one because in first day itself, you will be able to complete 20 plus 20, 40 hours of your budgeted units. Okay. 
similarly if i go to this particular activity units per time is fixed but suppose if i change the duration or maybe if i change the budgeted units then whether the duration will get affected ideally it should get affected so suppose from 840 i am making it to 80 then your duration should change from 2 to 4 let us see whether it does or no yes it has does it it has done it okay so this is the concept of duration type four types of duration we understood with the help of examples it is just about resources for these two particular things first one and second one your resources will not at all interfere much but for these two things your resources will change a lot of things because your duration will get hampered so mostly these two uh, type of durations are resource driven but first two types of durations are not resource driven in a uh, subjective way if i say okay so that's all for the video thank you everyone